Hi CMA Trends, I am Ramona Williams, the Alexander Specialist for the Children's Museum, Houston. I hope you are having a fantastic day today. Thank you for joining me for the Early Childhood Corner, sponsored by Catherine G. McGovern and the McGovern Foundation. Today, we're going to go around your home and look for some things that we can turn into fun, interactive learning for your toddler. Be sure to stay with this video for the entirety because I'm going to give you tips to turn the fun up at the end, as well as wonder words to explore and a book to read with your little one. Okay, I am so excited about today's activity. I think it's activities because we have looked all over the home and this is what we've come up with, right? So. First, we're going to allow your toddler to sculpt using Play-Doh, straws, and spaghetti. Now, if you don't have those, it's okay. If you only have spaghetti, only use spaghetti. If you only have straws, guess what? Only use straws. And now let me tell you a little secret about this Play-Doh. I made this Play-Doh from scratch. So you can go online, find a very, very easy recipe. And literally it took me maybe five minutes to make this. Next, we have our, I don't even know what to call it, but guess what I use? Toilet paper rolls. And the other thing you can use since it's the holidays, you know you have your empty wrapping paper rolls, use those as well. And you're gonna need a hole puncher as well as marker, something for your little one to color with. And then the last thing, if you don't have any of those, but if you have a colander at home, you can use a colander as well as pipe cleaners. Now here, we are being very creative. If you don't have pipe cleaners, guess what? Go back to your spaghetti if you have spaghetti. So, you are going to make sure that your little one is seated. They can be at a table or on the floor. If you sit them on the floor, I would recommend maybe putting um, a blanket or a towel under them just to kind of catch any mess that's there and give them a nice piece of Play-Doh. Now, when you give this Play-Doh to them, they may want to smush it down or roll it make it higher or flat, it's completely up to them because the name of the game here is allowing them to let their imagination run wild and be super creative. Now, you also will have here your straws and your spaghetti. Initially, you will probably want to show them poking it into their Play-Doh so that they can begin making their sculpture. And once you so show them what they're doing, I promise you, you can let them go explore and discover. They may want to place them one place and then move it and place it somewhere else. That is completely fine. Let their imagination go bonkers. They may want to put the spaghetti inside of the straw. That's fine. Or how about I'm gonna put my spaghetti here and I'm gonna break it and put another piece here, okay? So you will allow them to go for it, let their thought process go for it, let their creativity go for it. And the other thing I would say is have a conversation. You can never talk too much to your little one about what they're doing, what they see, what they're discovering because that's how they learn, that's how they learn the world around them. Okay, let's get started with activity two. So if you happen to not have Play-Doh, but you may have empty toilet paper rolls or empty wrapping paper. So if you have those long wrapping paper rolls, just go ahead and cut them to smaller sizes or, you know, you could keep it long. That would be fine too. Give it to your toddler. I would place something underneath them. That's why I have my plate and let them go to town drawing and being creative. It is up to them, the colors that they choose, how they draw it. I'm gonna put a little smiley face here. And just let them have fun. So once that is done, you will take a hole puncher and anywhere around the bottom, in any fashion or form, it doesn't matter, you're going to put holes inside of your empty toilet paper or wrapping paper roll and go all the way around. You'll do the bottom as well as the top. 
finally, this is where the fun begins. So your project is done as far as on your part. Now your little one gets to come in and use their pipe cleaners to, it actually helps them to practice hand-eye coordination. So they're trying to find a way to put their pipe cleaners, if you have it, you know, if you don't have pipe cleaners, spaghetti actually works as well. And you're going to have them, you might have to show them the first time or two, and it is up to them. They can be as creative as possible. Hey, I just put a pink one here. I wanna put a green one in the same hole. So look at that. And it helps them to discover, like what do I do if I'm putting a pipe cleaner in the same hole and it's pushing the other one out? Maybe I need to hold. So see, that gives them an opportunity to discover and explore and they just keep going to their heart's content. They may go through and put all of the pipe cleaners in. They may put some in and take some out. But again, this is for their imagination and creativity. So you know how little ones love to get into the cabinet and pull out the pots and pans? Well, guess what? Here's an opportunity for them to come into the uh, cabinet pull out a colander, you may have to get the colander for them, but then use it to start sculpting. So it is super simple, same technique as our other two activities where they are poking either a straw, if you have a colander that's actually, that has holes that are large enough, you can use straws for this activity, but if not, like here, my colander is not, so I'm using pipe cleaners, and I also wanted to show you that this spaghetti that I have, this is actually fettuccine, because it's a little bit thicker, works as well. And you just allow them to run wild with it. If you want to join in with them and have a conversation, ask them, what are they building? What does it look like? Or why did they pick those colors? You can even count how many strings of spaghetti do you have? So far, I see three, and you continue to go. I think a fun thing to do would be to also name your sculpture at the end. So here's a tip. During our activity, we had our toddler interact with straws and spaghetti. How about have a conversation with your little one? Talk about the difference between a straw and a spaghetti. What is a straw used for? What is spaghetti used for? Because I am sure your little one never poked straws into Play-Doh before. So have that conversation and let their imagination run wild. Possible ways, possible things you could do with both and what is the actual way to use both of them. And I want you to explore these wonder words poke, create, design, sculpt, as well as drink and sip. And finally, a book for you to read, Let's Build by Sue Fleece. Okay friends, that is all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this activity. I know I enjoyed experimenting with it. Be sure to continue to stay connected with us through the museum's all-time access. Also, if you're watching this via YouTube, you know what to do, like and subscribe. I am Ramona Williams and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.